Anyone who has followed the In Fisherman staff in action across North America knows we fish for everything that swims. No matter the species, we want to understand it and be able to catch it. The burbot, also known as the eel pout, is one of the most curious creatures swimming in our icy waters. Let the catching begin. Yeah, I got a fish! You got one? Yeah! Cold, reel up. Reel, get that tip up. That's it. Reel that tip up. Got that camera down. Let me know that from up there. Feel like a good one? Yeah, it feels, right. kind of feels like a perfect. Cool. Oh. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Yeah, he's still there. I, f I thought I felt like he <laughs> just... Well, what happened was he, he knotted up in the bottom of the hole. Oh yeah, look at that man. All right. Your first bourbon of the year. Yeah. You don't like these, do you? Yeah, they're my favorite fish. Is that right? Boy, that's a nice one. You know, in February, when people are struggling for pike and perch and walleye, we start sliding up onto these flats and catching these big burbot. And we're talking about big fish and lots of them. Before we really get into a lot of the details, we need to understand what we're dealing with here. Yes, we're dealing with burbot or pout here, but we're dealing with two distinct groups of fish. Behind me is the shallow flat from eight all the way to shore. In front of me is the deep water, the deep water base, and it goes all the way out to 40 feet here. And the, in the shallows, the fish that are in there for the most part are the non-breeding fish. These are adult fish that are in protecting territory and they are jumping all over anything that moves. The other group of fish are the breeding fish of this year, males and females. And they're coming up and down this drop and they're feeding up, coming in, spawning, going out, feeding up, coming in, spawning some more. And it takes them quite a few forays before they actually are completely spent. So you can concentrate on different groups of fish depending on which group is most active during which part of the day. When I'm fishing burbot up on the flats, I love to fish two rods. I separate, I can cover quite a bit of area on a flat just by hopscotching from hole to hole. And it's a very simple cadence. I'll focus on one rod first, give it some high sweeps, let that three quarter or one and a half ounce lure hit the bottom, thud, thud, and then lift it and hold it. Work the other rod. And one thing that makes a big difference when you're fishing two holes that are fairly ways apart is having longer rods that are medium to heavy action, medium heavy or heavy. I'm using 32 to 45 inch rods by HT Enterprises. And at that distance, you need that length to feel first and then poke those fish and get hooked. A little skinny guy in here protecting territory, a little male. Grab the tip up! All right, Ben, take your time, take your time. Let him wait until he stops. Because he might just be carrying it off. And... But this is that, that minnow. See how he's just moving slow like that? That's pretty, uh, that, that's probably a bird. Okay, I'll lift the tip up out of kick it, Ben. Okay and then wait until I, you have to pull the line down a little bit. Okay, okay, and then you, okay, you lift and see if there's a fish there. Is he? Jerk it, lift hard, lift steady. Is it something there? Yep, there's something Okay, here. lift, 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 just keep steady like that. Nice and steady. That's it, nice and steady. Oh, okay, now grab the leader. All right, look at that. All right, Benny. That's a nice burbot on a tip up. Yeah. That, that's a great fish, Ben. Look at that little yellow beauty spot on it. See yeah. on his tummy? Yeah. yeah. Boy, they have a What's lot of a different What's a beauty colors. spot? Beauty spot is like a birthmark. Really? Yeah. Birthmark, they've got a lot of different colors. Sometimes they're black, sometimes they're green, sometimes they're yellow, but they're all good. And this one, Swallowed the hook, so this one will be good to eat. Like that first one you caught, we yeah. got enough for fresh supper tonight. Yes. All right. <laughs>